Hey there guys, it's me, Talk, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be showing you an in-depth OBS 2018 February guide on how to make the best open broadcast software live streaming tutorial. Alright guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, because I would love you so much if you could hit that subscribe button. And also watch this video to the very end to get the best open broadcast software settings and I'm even going to show you how to make some stuff on open broadcast software alright so this uh, we're gonna go to settings right here and the first thing you want to do is uh, in general uh, you can just do language uh, the theme default theme you can change it to dark theme um, you can change it back to default you know and this wow, I actually didn't know that was even there. Um, but we're just gonna do default theme. That part doesn't really matter. If you want to do that, you can. It's not gonna show up for your like uh, you the other everybody else if you're you are going to be live streaming. But anyways, let's go on to streams now. Now obviously you need to go get your stream key, and if you don't know how to do that, you can uh, look at the other video or look in the description. Uh, go ahead and look in the description, and I'll show you how to get the stream key. Anyways, uh, now we're going to go to output, and this is we where we are going to be doing lots of stuff. Alright, so the output mode is going to be advanced. This is going to be on streaming. That doesn't really matter. But the encoder is going to be 264, or whatever you want. That doesn't really matter, that part. The rescale output you can rescale output to anything you want that doesn't matter but I do suggest you do 1440 times 900 uh, but anyways we're just gonna turn that off rate control you want to do CBR or VBR it really depends I really do like CBR it's very great it makes my um, buffering le it makes my live stream less buffering uh, definitely and it's just it, it's just great and then the bit rate is basically where it's gonna like it, it, it's kind of hard to explain but I like doing 2500 if you want a more sturdy stream if you want it to not lose connection all of a sudden you want it to stay at like the nice green color then I would do 1700 1700 is kind of the sweet spot that is probably the best thing you can do um, but if you want it to just have higher quality and you don't really care if it's gonna buffer or the streams gonna end I would do 2500 between 3000 but we're going to do 1700 right here I do like 1700 and now the keyframe interval it doesn't really matter what that is and now this is gonna actually gonna be hard the CPU usage um, the it's a preset, so you can do ultra fast, super fast, very fast, faster, fast, medium, slow, slower, very slow, or placebo. Um, I like doing just regular fast because it's basically medium but a little bit faster. It's definitely probably the best one. Um, if you want it to like I said buffer less, then go ahead and do slow. But if you want it to be like high quality, really high quality live stream, uh, no like weird like you know like when it like when you're live streaming and then like the quality just like cuts out and it looks like all blurry, you don't want that to happen. So I do fast. It really is perfect. Uh, the, the stream won't buffer as much. The stream will also look very high quality. And you're just going to save that after that. And there you have it. And the next thing you want to do is go back to settings, and you can do audio, but we're going to be doing video. And the common FPS value, you don't really have to do the canvas resolution. That's not really going to do anything. But the S FPS value, uh, you want to switch this to FPS values, by the way. And you want to do either 29.97, 24, or 30. Any higher, it's going to buffer and any lower it's gonna be terrible quality so we are going to do 30 uh... actually no we'll do 29 uh... that's a great one i really do suggest that you do 29.97 uh... it's basically the same thing as 30 but just a little bit different 
and after that you're gonna press OK and we're done with the video and the next thing you can do you know you, know, you can do hotkeys advance whatever you want but there you have it everybody I really do hope this all works for you if it does don't forget to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos everybody alright guys I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.